All right. We are back with another A girl. I don't even think I said a fine <laughs> game night. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm going sh- to I am going to try to push through. To- I am recovering from a flu, but we are going to get through this. So, A girl, we got E back. A yeah. girl. What's up? And I definitely had a situation. I said that I want to. I want to bring. I want to bring this up to Eve. This episode. Oh wow! <laughs> Have you ever had a situation where you are with a group of girls? So you're with like five girls, and you all look different. Like you know, one person's caramel, another one's light skin. Everyone has different hair. Like everyone has their own identity. When we get to the door to get to an event, you are the one that people are gravitating to. So one of the girls in your crew, I didn't say they were friends. I just said a girl group. Um, they Two of them start, you know, whispering who she thinks she is, like, because she bold. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh, here we go, here we go again. This, this, this is never going to leave. Like, I don't think I'm nothing because I was walking behind all y'all when we was getting here. Shit. How do you feel about the pretty privilege thing? Um. So the thing is, what most ladies or most girl groups don't understand is pretty privilege doesn't just come with you looking so glad looking so i mean obviously it's an attraction but your energy too is another thing as well because you see some at least i've been in a, with a group of girls where everybody is getting picked to dance or getting picked to talk to or something and you're not wondering okay it's not like my friend is ugly but why is she not, you know, conversing with people? Why is she not having fun and all that kind of mm-hmm. thing? Only for you to now find out that maybe one or two guys had actually approached her and spoken to her, but they didn't like the energy they were getting. And to be honest, pretty privilege is a thing as well because it happens even with bands, like girl bands. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe... Okay, so I'll, I'll use myself as an example. I, 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 I do commercials, like TV commercials for brands mm-hmm. and stuff. And I get to go for auditions, right? So I went for an audition one time. And they were making us come in 10 at a time in a group. Mm-hmm. And it's not like all the women that were with me on the group were were ugly or something some had good skin some even had like full uh full beats like makeup beats and all that kind of stuff but i got chosen i was the only person chosen out of all the 10. Mm -hmm. it cost it cost a it cost an issue for me because when i got out waiting for the next set of you know because they had like three sets of auditions so they were just randomly picking people so they could thin out the hair and one of the girls in the group actually walked up to me and said, oh, so in your mind, you're fine, Abby. Something, something, something. And forget this. I don't know the girl. Mm-hmm. I don't know her. I Like, I've never met her. The first time I met her was at the audition and everything. I, I was just like, okay, what is going on? Like, you guys are even talking to me. Your face is like all glowed up beats and everything. I barely had anything on. I was literally looking like this. I'm like, am I missing something? So the thing is, some people don't know that, yes, pretty privilege is a thing, but you also, especially in entertainment industry sometimes, in your mind, you're the, you're the star. You're the best thing that happened to the group and everything. But behind the scenes, the girls that feel like you have the pretty privilege don't know what you're dealing with. At that point... Some people see you as an object of sex. Some people see you as an object of, mm, she probably doesn't know what to do and everything. But pretty privilege is a thing that a lot of girls don't have a pin on that. Is it about her being pretty? Or is it about her being mm-hmm. pretty and having good energy? Is it about her being pretty and having good character? It's a, 
it's not it's not outrightly balanced to be honest and that mm-hmm. that's what even causes unnecessary beef between girls right. to be honest yeah i definitely think it is a thing and depending what environment mm-hmm. you're in it comes into effect um i know when i'm in like an all black environment i'm the exotical in the environment because i have no hair and a lot of women have long luxurious hair they have the lashes and i'm more of a natural face and i don't have the big butt and all that so i'm the exotic so of course i'm going to be getting garnishing more attention i know that like i'm aware of my surroundings but when i'm in like a mixed crowd where there's whites indians um asians I'm not the ideal European pretty. Like it's my pretty privilege is not going to very benefit from there. Unless it's a couple of white people who like black people, but my pretty privilege is not going to benefit there. So I know when my image is going to play into it. And yeah, I play into it because I done got my ass and my friends out of some damn tickets. It's not even just about the sexual object thing. Like, yeah, I was speeding, and hey, officer, how you doing? I I sure did. Are you gonna give me a ticket? Where where? Should, yes, yes. I'm gonna lean into it, but um, as far as it affecting me per se, I don't really give a shit. Like to each his own. Like everyone has someone for everyone. I just in DC. My friends from Boston, they came down, and one one of my friends was like, I want him. I'm like, you want him? That one right there, just to clarify, she was like, yeah, I want, I want him. I, I don't want to leave the building without, you know, um, getting a number. I'm like, all right, girl, I'm going to be right back. I walked over to, hey, how you do? Are you here with someone? Are you married? You got a girlfriend? He's like, no. I was like, well, I got somebody for you. You want to you wanna follow me? He's like, all right, all right, all right. Follow me. So I said, you know, hey, you meet her, her meet him, y'all talk, I'll be over here. So a couple of people tap me like, you a real good friend. I'm just like, I don't give a shit. Like, what? what's the problem? What is the problem? Like, we here, this is leisure time for me. She said she wanted him, so bitch, I'm gonna go get, like, I don't give a shit. We all have our own looks. Like, I don't know. I'm not shaken up by it. If someone doesn't find me attractive, then I mean, oh, well, whatever. I've been called ugly probably more times than when I was pretty. But yeah, no, um, a lot of people Who call you ugly? Oh, no, I've been called ugly all Yeah, I've been called ugly all of my childhood. So that's why it's like kind of uncomfortable when people are like, oh my god, you're so pretty. Like, it's it's uncomfortable. But um, the story in D.C. Okay. It was like three people who were like, um, you are such a good friend because a lot of females would not do that. And I'm just like, I know, but I mean, that's who she said she wanted. Like, why am I going to get offended? Like, I don't know. And then also in my college years, me and my friend, he, he's gay. So we would on hat on paydays, we would go to like Fridays and eat and we would see which way the the waiters would go. Does, is he, is he Mm. gay or is he straight? I don't know. I just do stuff like that. Like, I don't give a shit. If that person finds you more attractive, then, girl, to go do you. Like, I'm going to be over here. Signal yeah. over here if he's trying mm-hmm. to harm you. And I'm going to come up over there with my little knife or something. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not one of them females that's jealous. I think that's the word. That's the word. Because even even if, because first of all, like you, the example you gave about, you know, when you're around your um, black friends and all that. The reason why you get more attraction is because men are surprised that in this day and age, a woman can, like you can still go natural with your hair, barely any mm-hmm. makeup on and all that. And then you got good energy. Check it out now. You probably got with most of your friends. If you guys are like seven, four of them are on their phones. Mm-hmm. getting all oh my god snapchatting and all that kind of stuff but you are you seem you you seem more of the type that okay you hang out you want to have fun your phone is barely your problem at that point do you understand so 
it's like like most people say men are more um physical so first of all the attraction is ah uh, in in a, in a space where you have girls wearing 20 28 30 32 inches hair there's a lady who is coming here with slick low cut mm. barely any makeup on but she still looks fly and everything that is an attraction for some men but get this the girls who come with you with all the hair and the lashes right. and the full makeup beats and everything they're gonna be pissed off you like okay i don't understand i'm better looking than her i look flat i look good what's it about her that um is attracting the guys to her and not me so mm-hmm. what's going on my phone? yeah so my phone just locked wow so that's the thing so, because what a lot of women don't understand is men visualize is maybe until they have like a conversation with you before they now say oh okay she's good she's she's cool like nah you don't want to go there you know that kind of thing so yeah the, that word you said jealousy is the is the prime prime word and that's why a lot of a lot of girls don't like hanging together they don't yeah, I don't that's give a shit, girl. That, that's what you want over there? You want me to go get them? Okay, girl. I'll be right back. <laughs> if I signal, you better you better throw that damn gun out. You better throw that weapon out. Shoot. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't I don't give a fuck. Like I just girl, that's what you want? All right, I'll be right back. I was like, I just what, was talking to her you? yesterday. Not even yesterday, this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said have, have you ever um yeah, have you ever been in a situation where the pretty privileged thing affected one of your friends and or one of your persons and she yes. actually called you out on it? She called you out on it? Absolutely. She wasn't even and my friend. She was a friend of a that? friend. Okay. Uh, well, she was a friend of the friend, so it was easy to discard her. But she was um, she wasn't liking the fact that she, I was getting more attention um, than her, and she, she oh, wow. was like, "Well, all you doing is doing like a ten minute cut buzz, and I done spent like four hours in the salon." I'm like, "Sweetheart, that's not all, that's all, that's not the only reason why I'm getting attention. Like, you're hating, you're hating." Um, so yeah, me and her had a nice little back and forth. I mean, we weren't very the, the, the coolest of, of the two anyway, cause she was very just sarcastic and her comments was just not needed, but, um, it was easy to discard cause she wasn't my friend. She was, the commonality was the girl who had the boyfriend with the living, with the living boyfriend. Mm. That yeah. was her friend from college and she brought her oh. along. So. Oh, wow. But yeah, no, I just noticed how different females, that's why I don't really like being around too many females. I always ask like, who are, who are you bringing? Because so many personalities and then you just mess up the momentum. I just know how I am, how I can control the situation. If you want to go get somebody, go ahead, girl. Go do you. Signal. You. Let me know if you are harm's <laughs> way. Yeah. If someone about to harm you, like signal, but like some girls just be like, oh, girl, like, ain't nobody over here. I want to leave. I don't want to deal with all of that. I don't want to deal with all of that. Like, you messing up the vibe. I'm talking to somebody. The dude going to be like, oh, your homegirl. I, yeah, like, she's not my child. Like, I don't want to. No. Yeah. That's why I have a very like tight <laughs> I thought I was going to say it sounds like you're surrounded like by a lot of dramatic people, because <laughs> it's crazy, girl. Yeah, it'd be a lot of that. It'd be a lot of that. My circle is very, very small. So I just be like, who's coming? How was her personality? Is she one of us? Like, can I be prepared? It it just be you gotta you gotta vet these people. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I already know, like I'm a rare breed. Like I just, I just don't really care about a lot of stuff. Like if I have a problem with something, I'm gonna tell you up front. But like all that other stuff, I'm just like, girl, fuck, just go ahead. I'll, I'll go find something to do, or I go talk to the waiter over there. Okay, how you doing? You want a free drink, girl? I got us a free drink. I'll be over here. I'm yeah, like I'm. I don't need all of that. Just. 
communicate and don't waste my damn time. That's just all I ask. Yeah. And people just find it like really difficult. But you yeah, know, I don't, I don't. Mm -mm. My my circle is very tight because I don't want to deal with all that. Very. And I totally understand that. Yeah. I totally do because some people just don't know when to stop. And then when you're trying to draw mm -hmm. the line, they feel like, oh, she's feeling herself. She's feeling so important. She's this, she's that. Like, I have standards. I've got boundaries. You need to respect that. It's pretty that much simple. <laughs> Girl, I look like this every damn day, okay? I am bored every day. Has any, has any situations happened with you? Um, for me, um, no, maybe because first of all, I know how to hold my own. And it's funny because sometimes when I go out with my friends or my group of friends, they're actually the one that push one or two guys to come and talk to me because I don't really like talking to people outside, to be honest, because when I go out, no. all I want to do is, I'm serious. Like. I, I, at least I know I've um because sometimes I just want to go out, I just want to drink, enjoy the music, eat if I have to eat, or something like because sometimes when I go out, I really don't go out much, but when I do, I'm mm -hmm. all about letting loose and letting loose to the music, drinking, eating. I just want to come back home and pass out. That's it. That's what I want to mm. do. But I think sometime was it last year or early this year, I went for one of my friends was having like a a house party and everything and everybody was just uh you know chit chatting first of all i didn't know most people that were there and then the people that i knew there were also talking to some of the people that i didn't know so mm -hmm. you know what i'm like you know it is what it is i just went to the table grabbed some small chops grabbed a, cu a, a cup of drink and i sat in the corner and i was just on my phone i was even playing game at a point but i was vibing to the music and everything but and all of a sudden, this guy walks up to me. He's like, oh, hey, hi. I'm like, oh, hey, hi. What's good? Blah, 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 blah. And I saw my friend standing right next to him. He's like, yeah, this is her. I'm like, this is her. Like, so I, Because I've told him about you and everything. I'm like, oh, come on. But the thing is, when he and I now started talking, he was like, ah, so you're like, you're really this cool. And then you just came here. And you were, I'm like, yeah, because mm -hmm. when, I really don't know anybody here. But I just, I'm enjoying the vibe. I'm feeling the environment and everything. So sometimes it also depends on where I'm at and the kind of people that are around. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, even with my group of friends, there are certain people that they know that I don't know and I don't necessarily vibe with them. So sometimes I don't even bother, um, you mm -hmm. know, talking to them and everything because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to pretend that I'm I'm cool with you or I want to talk to you when I sh shit, I don't want to say shit to you. So, mm -hmm. and even from my facial expression, you already know that right. okay, this one doesn't want to talk. Just leave it alone. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been in that situation, but I've also <laughs> had situations where <laughs> I've also had situations where um, I actually have to get like a guy to talk to some of my friends as well. So it's been a it's been a 50-50 mm -hmm. thing because. I remember one time went to see a movie when a couple of girls went to the mall to see a movie and a guy drove past us. First of all, the car was, oof, my God. Like, okay, cool, the car is nice, car is nice. Let's see, who, let's, see, let's see who comes down. Let's see who comes down. And the guy came down from the car. Miles was looking, ooh, ooh la la, edible stuff. I'm like, and my friend was like, oh my God, I need to talk to you. He's looking, look. I'm like, I'm like, he's right there. Go and talk to him. Say, no, I'm shy. It's okay. Wait. That same thing you did. That's how I was smiling when you say, I'm mean, like, okay, hey, hi. Um, oh, Where's my phone going up? Like, hey, hi, what's up? Um, Are you single? Say, yeah. I said, you hear somebody say, no, that he actually came to see a movie, blah, 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 and stuff. I'm like, ah, very good. Nice. And we all came to see a movie. And then after that, we're supposed to grab dinner and everything. It's like, oh, okay, but I now ended up seeing two different movies. I'm like, oh, by the way, if I forget, you look nice mm -hmm. for my friend. And I'm pointing at my friend, and my friend is actually there. She wanted to come say hi to you, but she's shy. And I'm like, ah, no, no, no. And I told my friend, oh, yeah, come on. Say, Do you know my friend ran off? My friend actually Who ran off. Like, she took off. She, my friend took off. The 
Oh, she literally she ran off. off. Oh my god. She ran. No. I felt so. I felt so stupid. Like she took off. I'm like, so I have to apologize oh to the guy. I know he was like, 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 so it's going so on. I'm like, see, I'm sorry, she's just shy. I was like, no, that if that apparently it turns out that he had seen me and wanted to talk to me, but I mm-hmm. came on behalf of my friend. So I'm like, okay, well, sorry to spoil your day, mm-hmm. but you look really nice, blah blah blah. I have to get back to my friends and all that. So I took off and went to get me like, Do you know that? Get this. This guy was looking for me in the mall. He eventually I think he now remembered that we said we we're gonna grab food after the movie so he found us in one of the food courts and everything he took my number we became friends and all that and Look at that. Really close. Apparently yeah. got married. <laughs> so she, then when we now became close my friend now said ah that should be i went to talk to him on her behalf i'm like yo i did but you took off and man came and took my number and we started talking so how is that my fault you messed up and you missed up. So she got angry with me at all. She actually didn't talk to me for a few I've weeks. I've definitely like, had a couple of situations. Yep. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, you, you'll be just fine. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh my God. It's crazy. Yeah, man. I've definitely had a couple of those situations where they've dropped the ball. So then they come, the male will come over to me. But I'm just like, well, girl, that's that was your fault. Like, you told me to go be the wing woman and you dropped the ball. So he go up come up like what what you mean? Like y'all not serious. So what's the problem? You know? So yeah. That ain't none of my problem. So do out, you think pretty privilege is out? Oh, that that ain't none of my that ain't none of my business no more. Do you feel like there is a pretty privilege with the colorism like the light skin and then the dark skin yes yes there is um i know in in your part of the world it is considered racism <laughs> here is is tribalism so when i say tribalism is like i remember you saying it um yeah so tribalism in the sense like now my tribe is yoruba then we have another tribe called Igbo, mm-hmm. and most Igbo, most Igbo girls or girls from delta that's like the middle middle uh middle belts that's the middle parts of the country um most of them mm-hmm. are light-skinned i'll i'll use this example you know i, I mentioned that i i i do commercials i have to go for auditions and everything most of the brands that say, oh, they're looking for models and all that, the first thing they say is light-skinned. So it takes a it takes mm. a while for people of my color or people darker than I am, because when I tell people that I'm dark, they're like, I am not dark, you're mm. chocolate. I'm like, if you want to look at it, I am actually dark. I don't have to be black. My skin doesn't have to be dark, dark, dark. Right. You know, I'm actually dark, but... If you look at and I told them it so because of that thinking mentality and also apart from even the industry, there was there was a time when if you were not light skinned, you were not attractive to men. Mm-hmm. So hence some 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 women ended up bleaching their skin. So imagine somebody who who has our color, you see her you, you see somebody who has our color. You see her like this month. She has our color. She's looking very all melanin shades and everything. Then by December, she's looking mm-hmm. like Heidi Klum or, or, or Paris Hilton, like light skin and stuff. So because of that mentality, yeah, yeah it, it made a lot of women. Yeah, it made a lot of women start bleaching their skin to the point that people started doing uh, or skin killing, mm-hmm. making themselves look lighter and all that some people can buy um body cream or soaps that are brightening you know they say oh they need to look some type of way they, i'm like so it cost a, it cost a, it cost a lot of problem so and then it now automatically made people feel like oh 
if you're light skinned that means you're from the Igbo tribe if you're dark skinned like me or dark I am you're either from another tribe either from Yoruba or Aosa or whatever tribe it is but it was now later I think the thing caused a problem because also like the industry where you know if you're not light skinned oh you can't get this job and unfortunately they'll write out a brief they'll not say you must be light skinned so I think it was later that the narrative started to change when people now, especially the clients that run these brands, started realizing that. Ah. But it now turns out that when you now put some of these light skinned people on set and then you put on the lights, you put them in front mm -hmm. of the camera, they are, they are not that pleasing. It now started to, the narrative started to change. So depending on how the... Right um how the um what you call it how the brief goes what the client is looking for you know say oh they want they will even not they even not started accepting people that were darker than i am for some commercial shoots then in this mm -hmm. on the part of the men it's like some men now started discovering that because at the time when women started bleaching their skin you see a woman is light skinned you see like her vein the color of her veins like green and everything mm. is showing on her skin instead of becoming some type yeah. of way so men are like look you know what as long as you look good and you love yourself the way you are it now started to change it was it was but it was crazy it was pretty bad like girls were going all out to look light-skinned it was really bad I definitely try to bleach my skin as a child because I was being called ugly, dirty skin, blacky, oh, wow. all these things as a child. And yeah, I try to bleach myself. Um, but over time, yeah, I colorism is definitely big in the United States. Um, I know when I worked for a couple of marketing company for some marketing campaigns, they would tell us light skinned or uh, racially ambiguous colors, like it will yeah. market to different people instead of just one. So if you get someone that's half white, half black, and they look Spanish, you can market to the black people because you, you don't know what they are. You can market to the light skinned black people. Yeah. You can market to the Spanish. You can market to Asian. You cover so many grounds. That's why they pick light skinned people in the United States. I'm not sure how it is in Nigeria because you guys are predominantly black. But me working in yeah. in my a couple of marketing campaigns, that is what they said specifically. Um, but as far yeah. as just the world, like the light skinned people are closer to, to to being white. Like they can, if you just glance at them, like you might confuse them for a white person or a Spanish person, depending on how deeply melan uh, melanated they are. So they yeah. oftentimes feel like they're like superior over someone like my complexion or lighter and i yeah i don't know where that come from but so a lot of females you know they they oh girl no i feel like it's a bit worse on the west coast mm -hmm. i definitely feel like it's worse on the west coast versus on the east coast but um Cause when I was living over on the West Coast, I was I, it was a lot of times I had to compose myself because a lot of a lot of those racially ambiguous and light skinned girls would mm. why is she here? Give me, give me. She doesn't belong here. Um, yeah, and I'm like the only spot. So um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely worse on the other side of the country where I'm at versus over here. It's but, a lot of mixed people. Yeah, but funny enough, um, even uh, I don't know if you've been to South Africa or you've read stuff about South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's a time there was a time when uh, I haven't been, but you know, being an African, you read stories like so. Apartheid is also called something like racism over there. In South Africa, there's a section where you only have white people during the time of apartheid. Only white people can live there, even if you're married to the and then. If, if a white man impregnates a black woman, the woman has to take care of the child. The child and the wife can't come to the predominantly white side. And the thing is, um, 
a lot of it, it, it's, it's the same thing that that's why I say in different countries and in different um, culture um, ethics ethnic groups there are different things that happen like in South mm-hmm. Africa there's still that privilege of the white people have some advantage over the black people so it, it's yeah. now it was later when it was later when um, things started to change then you now found out okay the white people could mix with the blacks and everything especially when you know white men got the the african uh the black south african the mothers pregnant and then it now even got to a point now so because of that uh the kids will look mixed mixed race you know father is white mother is um south african and all that so once they see that you're light-skinned you even have more advantage than somebody who you're in the same environment where your mother is but if that child is darker than you you have more privilege than the child mm-hmm. that is darker than you know that's darker than you are so it, in africa too it, it has different names that's why i said here our own was ours is tribalism sometimes it still happens but it's just like once in a while but there was a time it used to be that bad mm-hmm. in south africa it's a whole different story so yeah do you get the, do you guys get the comment of um a male who's like oh you're pretty for a dark-skinned girl i hate that quote from the bottom of my heart oh no we don't we, do you guys get, get that in nigeria no we don't no, no. Yeah, there are some times. Uh, yeah, there my, are some my people experience. Who say, yeah, there for are some people who say, "Oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl." Well, why? Why? Yeah, that is a quote. Cool, a lot of people will say. I don't know that it's it's very degrading. Like, what do you mean? I'm pretty for a dark skinned girl, but. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a common thing. A lot of you know dark skinned women will hear that. Oh, you're, you oh you have nice hair for a dark skinned woman. Yeah, you hear like degrading stuff like that's, that. That's the that's the and that's the part. That's the part. That's the part. Yeah, that and I'm just like, well, if I was light skinned, like, would you reward me for this? I don't know. I I don't know. I I don't find that comment. I've never found that comment like very like encouraging. Like, what do you mean? Like, if I was light skinned, like, would you still be applauding me this this comment? Like, what do you mean by if I was I'm this for a dark skinned girl? Like, what what does that mean? But yeah, they they say that it's a common thing. Because I, I, from what we've been seeing on social media, and both been reading, especially on the side of the world, where you're where we're having black kids um being laughed at or being discriminated because they have beautiful afro hair or you know full and fluffy thick hair Mm -hmm. i mean if you have that kind of hair here in this part of the world people will envy you and be like damn i wish my hair was like that i don't think a lot of i don't think a lot of african americans know and understand that some things that they have some of us here actually wish we like See a, a little girl with full, beautiful hair, looking all cute and all that, and then some people here in this part of the world can't even grow half of that. Like it's crazy. So because I'm mean, like, even if you're going to right. do it to adults, don't do it to kids. Don't don't do it to kids. It's it's not fair. Your kids will come home crying and telling their their, their mom and their dad and that, oh somebody called me ugly or come on, that's it's crazy. That was me. That was definitely me. I've been called dirty skin, blacky, all of that. It's crazy. Wow. But yeah. Damn. What? Welcome to America. Welcome <laughs> to America. Oh, pretty, pretty privilege. I definitely, definitely, definitely think pretty privilege is a thing. I definitely lean into it. When I see that it's 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 working, oh, off to you, oh, oh, thank you so much. I d- you, oh, you letting us in? I have four more other girls. Can you let us in? I will definitely lean into it, but I do not degrade <laughs> anyone like so, like other people. But I will definitely. I, I got four other girls. Can you let us into? Can you let them into? Yes. Um. It has it as it has it ever affected me. It, it affected me because of how another female has um, put their own insecurities onto me. 
But as far as me, uh, child, I don't give a fuck. I'm off, I'm off of work. I think I'm ready to party. I, I, I think for me, I don't know. None of my friends have ever had to. None of my friends have ever had to um, say, "Oh, um, I feel some type of way because you're you're getting all the attention and everything." Because maybe because in a way as well, I kind of found a way to build my boldness, build my self esteem, because. Um, mm-hmm. People, I, I know a couple of friends have said this thing to me. Ah, Eve, you're surrounded by fine people, or Eve, you like fine boys. And then the first thing I told them is that, uh, hello, I'm not ugly. Do I look ugly to you? Have you met me? They'll be like, mm. <laughs> you're just proud. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, ah, you're proud. I'm like, it's not about being proud. It's, it's because I've gotten to understand, you know, the kind of person I am, mm-hmm. who I'm with. Like somebody said, um somebody said if you want to know how beautiful you are how or how beautiful a lady is look at her friends and i'm like yeah i've got friends that are beautiful some to your eyes may be more beautiful than me and that's okay one thing that might even attract you to me, sometimes their personalities that don't be met you know than me. do you get that's the thing i'm like maybe what what might attract a man to me might be like ah if you want to vibe, you want to chill, you want to laugh, man, just hang with Eve and everything. Then I'm like, but her friends are fine. I'm like, Amma, is it, it's not adding up. Don't even try yourself. So it's, I, I think one thing um, a lot of women should understand is it's not just about being, yes, being pretty adds to it, but your personality helps you a lot. It opens the, the door for that, a lot when, of things. It opens yeah, the door. When, when people... Well, because when I was telling somebody, I remember I was talking to one of my friends. My friend was like, ah, Eve, you are fine men, five and six. I said, hello. First of all, I didn't met my friends. My parents are not ugly. Second, I'm, I'm not ugly as well. Third, there are some men that are not as fine as I want them to be. But because of the way they carry themselves, the way they dress, and then when they talk to me, it mm-hmm. doesn't feel like I'm begging to be spoken to or something. It's an attractive trait, right. whether you want to admit it or not. So the thing is, at the end of the day, sometimes it's how we carry ourselves. It's how we be. Because you might be Miss World. You might be the most beautiful person. But there has to be something about you that mm-hmm. will still make somebody want to stay. It's not just about you being cute or being attractive or being fine. It's your, like you said... Is your personality matching up? Is it adding up? If it's not adding up, then there's really no point. It definitely is. That ain't none of my business. I am going to keep improving me and my interior stuff. Because I know I got some flaws some <laughs> somewhere. But overall, I am yeah. tolerable to be around. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to still lean into that pretty privilege. Oh, you want to let me in? Okay. I got three other more people. Oh, no, but that, that, that thing works like a charm well, sometimes. That thing works like a charm. Because it's like, um, hi, don't bat your eyelashes. Uh-uh. No, like, it's not fair now. I uh, don't do this. You're not flipping your hair. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, come inside. Okay. <laughs> Yes, oh I will lean I how, into it. How, yes, that's the. <laughs> oh, girl, he looking at you, girl. He looking at you. Perk your titties up. Perk your titties up. <laughs> yes, lean into it, girl. He looking at you. You, you, you use it. Yes, the beauty of being a woman. So yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, he looking at you, girl. Perk, um, perk them titties up, adjust your shirt or something. Make him look some more. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want lip gloss? <laughs> Just give you lip gloss. Make your lips pop some more. <laughs> oh, the little tricks. Yes. Oh my God! But you know, it's just sad that unfortunately, a lot of women don't don't understand it, and. Unfortunately, some tend to start. Um, how do I put it? Some, ooh, 
some tend to start unnecessary beef, unnecessary hate to hate um, among friends just because mm. yeah, you you are the one who is being attracted to, you're the one all the guys want to talk to. I kind of had that when I was in, in a way, I kind of had that when I was in high school. Some girls in my class didn't like me because I think most frozen. of the guys used to talk to me. Can okay, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Yeah. So I was saying that I kind of had that when... Uh, yeah, I was saying I kind of had that when I was in high school because a lot of girls in my class didn't used to talk to me because most of the guys in my class used to talk to me. And But here's the catch. Mm-hmm. Most of the guys were dating them. I wasn't dating anybody. That was the ironic part. I wasn't dating anybody in high school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it I don't was, know. It, it just was depends on the environment. Because to each his own. Yeah. Every guy has his preference, and and then when they and then when they talk to mm-hmm. you, like you guys might not even have that chemistry, and then y'all start swapping. So. I don't pay that no mind. When I when I yeah in my twenties in my, my early early twenties I did not understand it because no one explained it to me. But yeah, around like twenty four twenty five I started seeing like yeah just because they talking to you like that doesn't mean they're going to stay talking to you because they may not gel with your personality. True, true that. And you might not even so, like their girl, personality. I don't pay that no mind. I be like, oh girl, he looking at you. He looking at me. Which one he looking at? Because we're going to play into this little pretty privilege, okay? <laughs> Correct. Oh, my God. Correct. Oh, my God. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's a certain type of characteristics. There's a certain type of characteristics I like in a man. Because I'm an assertive type of woman. And... There's just some things I just want you to be manly in. And I just be want to kick my little feet up. Okay? Y'all want some tea? <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm here. I'm right here. Yes. You want some tea? Really? Okay. Really? <laughs> yes. I want to I wanna kick back and be a girl. I don't I don't want to wear the pants. Can you open this for me, please? Oh, Remember, I yeah, take this jar. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. Relax yes. and be taken care of. That's it. That's that's it right there. <laughs> yeah, I want to be relaxed and protected. I, Cause there's just a lot of crazies. I come across a lot of crazies. If you were like out with me, you would see yeah, because I, <laughs> I come across a lot of crazies. I cannot wait until I can be like How protected. Much- How much we off? No, 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 no. I come across some crazies. <laughs> like someone has like tried to follow us to our hotel room. Um, it's just be a lot of crazies. And I don't even pro- we don't what? even be like provoking stuff. So. Yeah, like that's what I said. Like I come across a lot of crazy stuff, and we don't even be provoking stuff. Like we would be coming out of like a five star restaurant, oh, wow. fully clothed. Where y'all? Where y'all going? Let me follow y'all. Relax. You don't even know our names. Yeah, it's Susan. Like no. Yeah, no. I become we. Yeah, no, girl. No, ma'am. We literally have to carry a weapon on us, like, girl, bye. It's the gift in a per. It's it's the gift in a a curse. Ciao. We gonna end this episode so I can survive (laughs) my cold. Yeah, you get back in the bed. (laughs) Yes, but I made it through. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of A Girl. Definitely drop a comment down below if y'all experience any pretty privilege. Cause I know I know I know every girl has. 
I know every girl has. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.